In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at three ways to take a graphic image and place it behind the text of a title. Two of the methods we'll look at come as a result of a question from one of my subscribers. I'd like to show you a couple of examples of some of the ways in which you can do this, and then after this very brief clip, we'll show you the three ways that I've found to insert a graphic image behind a title. First thing we're going to do is we'll take our video. I have this desert scene and I'll drag and drop that on track number one. And let's assume we want to advocate for hiking in the wilderness as a way of keeping fit. So I'm going to use a title. The title goes on the higher numbered track and the default stacking order. It's a lower track. So I'm going to go to my title room. And in this case, I'm going to pick a custom title because I've done one for this already called Hiking for Health. I'll take and drag that down and drop it on track number two. Now the title's not too bad in itself. It has a nice border. It has a two-color gradient. Uh, it stands out pretty good in front of the background. But let's assume I'd like to put an image behind that. So I'm going to double-click on it. That will open my title designer. And in the title designer, I'm going to look on the left side for the area called Backdrop. And we're going to change the features of the backdrop. So I'm going to click on the checkbox and open that up. The default is a slightly gray, somewhat opaque background. One option I have besides uniform color and two color gradient is an image. So I'm going to click on the image option and then I can navigate wherever I want to go in my file system. I'm going to take this image of the hikers on a mountain and then click on open and now it will put the background behind my text and here because I had fit with title it will make it as wide as the text and no wider and I can use a rectangle I can use a rounded rectangle I can use a curved edge rectangle so I have some nice options here for my background beyond that I can also edit the image a little bit I can crop it as it were by selecting where I want it, I can go up and down, or I can actually resize it by hanging on to any of the corners and go right or left. And if I want to, I can flip this. Upside wouldn't work, but left to right. And then I can move it here and it will flip even more. I can enlarge it again slightly. There's not a lot of editing room here, but you have enough to basically, without cropping it, do basically that same function as you look at how you want the background to look. So this is for an image that's just the width of the text area. Now it, the other option you have is you can click on the solid background bar. When I click on that it fills the screen from left to right border and in this case I'd probably change the nature of the image. I might just undo the flip or keep it and just move this left to right or up and down and I have the option of going border to border if I want to. You also can control the width and height of this. Uh, you can keep it proportional. We want to do that since there are people in it. You can also change the opacity. I can make it even more dense and I can make it fully opaque. So these are all the great controls you have by using that either on a border or if I go fit with title it will just be to the width of the title and so those are two very easy ways to do that let me give you a third option I'll just click on OK here and we'll drag in another copy of our title in contrast and drag it down and put it over here this time we're going to do something different in our title designer I'm going to do it in somewhat the old-fashioned way. I'm going to add a graphic on my timeline 
underneath the title. So I'm going to click on the fourth icon from the left and that will let me pick a graphic. I've already cropped one of these to be a little closer to what I want. And so here I have my graphic and I can take it and resize it. And then I'm going to change the order of the graphic. To do that, I click on the left panel by the number, hold down the mouse, it'll turn into what looks like a fist. Then I'll drag it up or down. And now I have hiking for health. And I've cropped the picture to include just what I want in this particular case. That's the third way in which you can accomplish this. Again, you can change the opacity here, and you can actually rotate it, do all kinds of other interesting things we won't get into in this particular tutorial. I'll mess just a little with the opacity. I'll dial it back from 100 to maybe in the 80s. And so there's a little bit of bleeding through there. But it gives you the opportunity to combine the value of text and graphic images in titles in CyberLink PowerDirector.